Alright, one day gone. A familiar matchup. Should I mully the Witchers? Because we kind of want to play the Witchers early. But I also want to mulligan. Now that could be good later. Yeah, we need to kick the Witcher. This is actually pretty good. <laughs> and we have to go first. Uh, we can go with that guy. Now he should have a way to kill it. If he has the Vault Hunt Hunt. And this is a soldier as well. However, it doesn't matter right now. We have to keep more guys in mind. Uh, with this deck. So this could completely own the Neckers. And unfortunately, we don't have uh, Serret. Hey, Mardo Face. Mahakam! Well, not exactly. Um, for New of Guard? Uh, that's the plan right now. Hmm. Well, this could be huge. I might as well do it. That's actually pretty nice. Imperial forces. Yeah, we don't have to deal do anything to them right now. Maybe he's just gonna play them all. Then we're just gonna blow it up. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, he obviously wants a short round free. If you want to... Actually, we kind of like a short round free as well. So it's gonna be a little tricky. But let's just go with the enforcers. If he has more knackers, he's gonna play him. Yeah, do we lock? I don't know. We can deal some damage, but... Not sure if it's worth it. Alright, we gotta play these. And... Good question. Let's say we don't uh, use it. Uh, we plan to use a uh, Gimpy Gervin. Next turn. Time for a beating. Yeah, he think the Necker Warrior would make it easier for him to buff it. So let's just not do that. <clears throat> now we have a big lead. I'm a little surprised about that card. He can take it in one card. Uh, well, yeah, easily. Which is disturbing. Hmm. Do I even unlock anything? The problem with playing these is that we can get more value later. This is not exactly a insanely powerful card. Okay. Leading by 20. Yeah. So he didn't play any big units. Am I wrong about his deck? The thing is this... This Arrakis Venom is very surprising. Okay. But well, I don't want to play now. Uh -huh. 
So we're just gonna pass. I'm not sure what he's up to. not gonna help us too much. Uh, this guy needs a better name. Traher. Uh... Hey, Grayo. That's the best I can do. Okay, close. Yeah, that doesn't help us, but it's a four point. Um, luck would help, I suppose. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, sure. Looks decent. Oh my god! I hate these guys! I hate the immune units! I'm thinking that... What do you guys think about this? I'm thinking if they just removed immunes, that would be just straight up uh, the best. I don't like them. Oh, we can delete this guy. I wonder if they ever change this interaction. That roach comes out, or is supposed to come out before. This makes kinda easy to include, roach and milk guard. Okay, uh, that's a decent lock target. And we don't have a better solution for it. Let's do it. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, um, I'm really good at this deck. Never mind that. I mistaken that for the locker. Fuck, that's the other guy. Actually, it was a good move anyway. That's not gonna get any stronger. That's strong. Yeah. He plans to eat that. Peter is gonna hit for 10 here, which is pretty damn good. But there's a good chance that that is not the best. Well, it's the best right now. We'll see. It's only not the best if he can somehow eat a 13 as well. He needs to play a 13. I need to kill it. We'll see. Dealt six damage, that's it. Very surprised. Actually, just holding on to Peter and playing him twice seems like the best option here. Does he have highest units? Should I try to have a highest unit on the board? I don't know. If he mulligan away anything, then it should be the Rattasser. Does he have any way to deal damage? It's not too late to walk away. We'll see. I'm thinking we should play Peter twice.
This is very strong if it works. Let's go with that. He's really holding on to his cards. What do you have? I see. The thing is, do I have to pick up Peter right away? Because it might not be the best. Can he win anyway? I don't know. If he has a goal or a... Wow, how is the other one called? That's just a fancy goal. Yeah, those are not that great. Ah, uh, we can play this guy. Yeah, that guy sucks. We're gonna put him on the top of the deck. Never mind that. What else you got? This is basically just a race. Very odd race. The race to play your worst card. Oh. Holy crap. I got punished there. So he has 15 points. 24 points now. Can I blow this up? That's a gamble. We gotta save uh I don't know. It looks like he's gonna play one boosted guy, maybe. How does it work? On its left. Wouldn't that be better if he killed Goliath? Oh, let's go with that. There's a good chance. Hey, P. Davian. So, there's a good chance that he has a goal. He has two goals. Or something like that. He doesn't really have any throwaway card to save that. I should have probably used uh, Peter and returned that. That would have been better. Are we destroying a random enemy, which is pretty good? Random card from deck, that's probably gonna be worse. So, random enemy, you dead. Ah, it's not the best. Uh, let's just return him. Good. 
And he should have no chance to win this now. Rip in peace, Dagon guy. GG. Ooh, this guy. Everything breaks glass. Ooh, can we delete his win condition? That would be nice. Well, that's actually pretty decent. Rotosur, probably not that good. Pico Novice. I do have some soldiers. Huh. Oh my god, we got unlucky. No, I can't fix the hand. Time for that. <clears throat> Meh. So we want to play two soldiers next to each other. Bow, barbarian. Bow low. Hmm. That's good. But I guess we gotta just kick Geralt Professional here. He's technically the most value. But good selection, I have to say. Nice. <clears throat> Yanka Wait isn't bad, but it's outclassed by Emir and Morven. I'm not a huge fan of Morven. And you probably answered a hundred times already, but what is your opinion on Homecoming? It's getting better. I think it released in a... well, partially because like we had artifacts, and artifacts basically represent what I really don't want to see in this game is that uh, stuff you can't interact with, and everyone was spamming artifacts and people were fucking sick of it. So a lot of people took breaks and were just swore that to never to return to Gwent. Um, which might be a little extreme. Alba! But yeah, it's definitely getting better. Sabat incoming. <gasps> you don't... Really? Ocean Mud's Grave Hag? Um... In my experience, the, the Grave Hag decks are not that good. They tend to be outclassed. No? This is not good. Oh no! So we have to win round one, or we're just completely out of it. And we have to find Shoop. I also tried making the Witcher deck. It was fun. But Ivo Bellhaven is so fragile. Well. Well, I haven't made the Witcher deck. At this point, I'm kind of focused on trying to make a powerful hipster deck. It's hard to do. In my experience, it's it's harder to do, harder to make uh, dominant uh, decks. So we can play that for ten. So I can lock that and any other versions of it. But you might want to save the lock. Only reach of one. They're dead. Now let's go with that. It's the card that deals two damage and gains a charge for every uh, played Witcher. Those cards are... are vulnerable.
Uh, there's definitely a prefense, uh, preference among uh, top decks, top players to go for strategies that are hard to disrupt. And that didn't change whatsoever. What is it now? Consume. I was gonna draw into some good cards. <clears throat> I tried to play Kahir deck and uh well Scorch is a nice card. <laughs> I, I know. No one wants it I have it in my so I open crack deck. I don't feel too good about it playing crack, but you have to admit, it's very uh, powerful. One game I actually was watching a movie and was playing crack, and I forgot to use my hero power all game long, and I won. So... I don't know how my opponent feel, felt about that. Okay. We gotta push him around too. <laughs> so, it would be nice to draw into Shoop and the Witchers. Not that. Magni? I don't know. So that would be nice for last round, not this round. Yeah, definitely not this round. That's what we want. First, we want to play the Magnet Division. Oh crap. Roach is just gonna be a total jerk and uh, ruin this guy's party. But I think we gotta play him. There's a 50 50. That is gonna get completely shut down. That's pretty good. Anyway, the butchers have to come out. Ouch! Why? It would have helped so much because now, now we have uh, now we both are tied for the highest unit. But if this went up to fi uh, five, then I would have the highest. So not only he would, then it would go up to six, and then he would be forced. Yeah. yeah, we can reset that, right? The common folk. I care for them. I don't think he boosts a lot. So that should be good enough. <clears throat> Magni's secret ability is to summon Roach on its row. Yeah, I'm familiar with that. Fight for the Emperor and you might be free. This is not good. He's gonna gain a card. And this... This is why I don't really like this. What do you guys think? The thing is, right now... Those... The, the player who goes first has 5 extra points. 
but a lot of games simply go play round one like crazy uh, round two is usually ignored unless unless you have to set up a short round three even in that case you often lose a card uh, because you well because you're going first with zero backup and uh, yeah you go to round three So you can't afford a tie. Should I? I think we should play. I, sh I, I think we should save this. It's gonna help to shut down whatever trick he's planning later. Yeah, this is bad. Get good plays. That's good. Okay, so this guy's a bit weak. This guy might not have a target. Oh, do we want to draw into something? That could help. That's a good place there. <clears throat> Immune. Yeah, so we're gonna shuffle back Roach. There's no way we can get out a better card. It's just gonna be a four point play. Maybe we should kick this guy instead of the other one. Anyway. You're 90% sure it's gonna be Grave Hag. The thing is, we actually have a decent counter to it. It's gonna be RNG Fest. But. It might work. Why? Huh, that was not in the spell books. Yeah, we're not keeping that. So he probably has uh, another pony. And Grave Hag is the last play. Now, he would need to play it right now. Betash! What now? Play buff pony already? I don't know what he's doing. But the thing is, this is the most confusing part. Why that? He didn't play any big units, so he has nothing to eat. Random card from your deck. Uh, that might have been more valuable. Eh, it's bad. So we're just gonna destroy a random enemy. Pick him up. And hope to destroy that random enemy as well. Wow. Okay, but we lost, most likely. Unless he's saving some weakling for last. Oh, come on! This shit needs to get nerfed. And it's gonna get nerfed. <laughs> I don't like that guy. I can't wait to never see it again. But yeah, GG.
It's a bit weird, but well played.